I started learning English when I was uh, 11 and participated in a twinning exchange when I was 14. I've always enjoyed learning languages and discovering new cultures. I speak fluent English. I'm a qualified translator and interpreter in the French English Language Fair consecutively and occasionally simultaneously. I've been a professional translator and interpreter since uh, September 91, 1981, and I've been uh, teaching uh, in English as a lecturer at the University of Le Havre for 18 years this month, uh, mainly international management, business ethic, terminology, and a few other subjects as well. I can also speak Spanish and German. I think Winston Churchill best described Great Britain. A complete man, a brilliant politician, a talented writer, an officer who served his country, a British Prime Minister who left his mark on his time. I think the best expression that describes the British culture is he trains cats and dogs. It's a popular expression that illustrates the love of the English for their pets. I think English has become the Latin of the 21st century of this millennium. Both in the scientific field, most of the researchers' publications are in English as well as in the business field, on all continents. I think English grammar is falsely easy and uh, is very different in its structure from that of Latin languages. Grammar and structure learning should not be overlooked. The fact of studying English grammar with a French teacher who after several years of study mastered it relatively well, makes it possible to understand its subtleties. I explain uh, English grammar more easily to my compatriots than French grammar to foreigners. I've not, said, I've not faced the same difficulties since French is my mother tongue. Of course, I can also teach French grammar to uh, English-speaking people. During my interpretation missions, English-French, several of my French or English-speaking clients insisted that I translate their good jokes. I think humor is something that is typically associated with language and culture and is not always transferable. The best possible translation will not always restore the humorous effect obtained in the original language especially when it comes to transposing it. In my career, I have accompanied English or French speaking clients in several countries. Each time I love discovering new cultures and allowing my clients to interface between the languages and cultures involved. The image that best symbolizes my vocation is that of a bridge between cultures and languages. I also provided training to Malagasy executives by video conference using French and English. I think it's fascinating to be able to train people remotely in real time. People who are located in the other hemisphere I think I know how to listen to my students, to my trainees, to my clients. I like to discover my clients' business, their challenges. I like to support them. I like to coach them so that they may achieve their objectives, their personal legion, as Paolo Coelho, the Brazilian writer, would say. <laughs>